Okay, it's going to sound like the Adams family here, but it's creepy, it's crawly, and it has some nasty eating habits, and now they're back in Ohio. But don't be worried about it. Meteorologist Ben Gelber is here to tell us about a beetle that may look kind of bad, but it's actually kind of good for the environment. It is Mark and Darlene. It's about one and a half inches long, right about here. It's orange and black. The Wilds Conservation Park in Muskingum County under the wing of the Columbus Zoo just found a new specimen of the American burying beetle. It's been a federal endangered species and ecologists at the Conservation Park have been trying to reestablish a population for years and now after being gone from Ohio for 45 years, it's back. The American burying beetle relied on the long extinct carrier pigeon, which explains why it's so rare now. A little more than 15 years ago, two Ohio State researchers began breeding the endangered beetle in the lab before transferring the project to the wilds, but it could not survive Ohio winters until now. We have successfully found uh, the American burying beetle. They have relocated it at the wilds. The American burying beetle gets its name from the fact that they bury small animal carcasses and then their larvae feed on that bury it underground and help with the decomposition process. So they're very good for the ecosystem. What? <laughs> the beetle releases enzymes to digest the remains of buried prey underground. So essentially they clean up after themselves. They're great recyclers. <laughs> the rare beetle has only been found, Darlene and Mark, in four other states. And you can read more about this rare endangered American burying beetle and its return and unusual habits in my web story on NBC4i.com. All right, Ben, thanks.